What's up everybody? This is Dal Stone here and today I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on adding a shadow catch catcher in Marmoset tool bag. So uh, let me just show you my scene that I'm going to be showing you here which is uh, this Camaro that I had modeled and textured and uh, normally you know this would be okay right just rendering your asset but for me I felt like it needed a ground plane. And typically what I would have done is I would have um, gone into Maya and I would have uh, created a plane, right? And I would have put it there so that it can cast shadows and stuff like that. But in Marmoset, they have this thing called a shadow catcher, which acts as that. And on top of that, it does this really cool thing where it kind of fades the shadows if it comes close to the edge of the plane, which is really cool. So um, all you have to do is just go into here. Uh, this little button called the new shadow catcher so you uh, add that and you'll get this right and you'll notice now that I have a bunch of lights okay so I so I do have uh, I have th three lights here inside this scene and uh, let me just maybe if I select it you can see the lights maybe so I have a bunch of lights that are overlapping each other currently um, let me just move these out of the way so you can see them. So I have three lights all bouncing onto this car in different directions. Uh, sorry, this is a little bit leggy, but uh, so yeah, so I have the lights here and this ground or the shadow catcher is essentially just catching all of the shadows that are being created by these lights. So if I um, select this shadow catcher when you create a new one, you want to make sure the edge fade is on if you want that effect. Okay, so if I had a more harsh light at a certain angle, uh, and I'll show you an example of this, um, you would see that um, it would fade near the end. Okay, so I like to turn on edge fade on, and if you turn on simple shadows, um, it'll, it should help out with rendering. Uh, but for me, I have simple shadows turned on. You can have it turn on or off. It's really up to you. Um, so yeah, so so for me, may, maybe I'll turn on here. Okay, so it's super simple. That's all you really need to know uh, when you turn it on. Uh, and let me just quickly show you some examples. So um, this is a render that I've taken. And you can see how this shadow here is fading, okay, uh, near the edge of the ground. And what's really cool about this is you don't see a, a ground plane. Uh, if you create a ground plane in Maya and you throw it in here, you'll actually see the plane itself unless you um, do some shader trickery to it right so again you'll see a shadow here kind of fading off near the edge um, and you see that even more happening over here um, but yeah so hopefully that tutorial helps you out it's a really really quick one nice and easy and um, if you want to see some of these uh, renders some of my final renders go to my website at dallastone.com or .ca uh, and uh, you can see some stuff there uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you again later next time.